video. Hey guys, it's Stan Hunter G here making another video and I hope you had a Merry Christmas. And for I'm going to show what some things I got for Christmas. And for Christmas, I got this really cool Jurassic Park hat. And I think it's pretty interesting because we're not going to be looking at any Jurassic World things. We're going to be looking at the almost 30-year-old toys. The OG vintage Jurassic Park toys made in 1993. And two of them, I think, made in 1997. So, let's get into it. It's Jurassic Park. The dinosaurs are loose. Tim Murphy snares a Dimetrodon. So, we have the Dimetrodon. Um, this was one of the first ones, I think. Or close to it. And... It has a, a backwards um, foot. <laughs> um, so I love the paint job. Um, I heard this was probably the last thing in the store and it was the thing no one touched. And I don't get that. This thing looks amazing in my eyes. And it could be just because I have a wrong foot, but let me show you the action figure. So you push the foot and it's just supposed to, you have to kind of push, put some pressure on it. Look at the JP mark because it's only happening at Jurassic Park. They, all of them have a certain number. This guy is number one. Rarth. Um, let's see what else we got. But the young T-Rex wants a piece of the action. Can the dinosaurs be recaptured? Look for the JP mark. It's happening, but only at Jurassic Park. One of my favorites. He's Rexy. He's Rexy. He's Rexy and you know it. <laughs> Rarth. So this, um... This is one of the first ever ones, not the first T-Rex, but one of the first ever dinosaurs. Um, so this is not an adult. I was surprised how big this thing was. And then they said, no, it's not, it's not the fully grown one. The fully grown one is the red um, T-Rex. And this one's only a juvenile. That's what it's called, juvenile. So it's called, Battle damage, I think. And um, it's supposed to have a piece, but to have a piece, that it's crazy. Because probably a kid lost it under the couch or something. What is supposed to go in the thing, and then it would look like it has no injuries, and then something would come and eat it off or something. And raw. I gotta say, it's in perfect condition. Ah, oh, I love toys like this. I wish they used they do it right now because you can literally just bend it. It's amazing. So, sorry, buddy. I love you, but you're gonna have to go to the side. Tracker to save it. Use the snare. He's safe. He's sold separately. It's happening, but only at Jurassic Park. <laughs> so we're gonna have a raptor. Um, I'm not sure if this is the first raptor or not, but I'm pretty sure it is. And I do wish um, you could close the mouth and open it back up. But when we got this, it had no sound and I was expecting it to have no sound because how old it is. It's almost 30 years old. So we put some new batteries in it, and then hear this. It's annoying, but I'm glad it works. <laughs> this, I don't know how much this could go for one day. 
but as long as it's in my hands and I, it's in good condition, I'm gonna love it. <laughs> Um, so when it does this, it'll, it comes like it's like jumping or something, and then you can make it look like it's going on T-Rex and having a battle. Um, I really do like the color of it. <laughs> oh, this number is number 10. Hey guys, it's part one of a free part series of... My vintage Jurassic Park toys. Make sure to like and subscribe and make sure to hit the notification bell so you don't miss my next two videos. Dino Hunter G out.